Trilera low-profile server, right? That's Bob? right. It's a uh, one U uh, server box. Basically, it's it's here to highlight the capabilities of the Trilera processors. Yeah. Many of our customers use these as developer platforms, so they develop their code on such a platform. In in some cases, the you know the big tier ones of the world are designing their own hardware platform. So they take yeah. our processors and just buy them and then design them into their product. Yeah. Um, other times, some of the other um, you know white box companies that make um, generic platforms, they'll design our chip sure. into them to sell for their customers. Um, now, which chip is this that we're looking at here? This isn't the 72 core behemoth, or is it? It is. This is a first look at a GX72. So a GX72. It has 72 processor cores. It has 80 gig plus of I.O. on the Ethernet side. It has 24 lanes of PCI Express, four memory controllers with ECC. Um, quite uh, quite a lot of horsepower, uh, the, the uh, highest performance chip in the world. And then uh, this is mounted on top of this uh, integrated circuit board. These, are these chips, uh, is this uh, replaceable such that I could swap and pull it in or out? If at some point you have a 148 gig, exactly. 148 yeah. quarter chip? So, right, we, uh, we made this mod modular in this particular platform simply because we have a whole family of GX processors. We have 9 cores, 16, 36, and 72 cores. And uh, some of those are in different sockets, different uh, packages, and so we have different boards that we can plug into the exact same chassis to uh, to test out the chips in all different configurations. Got it. And for this particular uh, 1U chassis, what's the name of this? Uh... We call this the Tile Empower. The Tile GX. Power GX. And what's the, the use case for this particular one? And also, as I'm looking at it, uh, unless you've got some solid state in there, there's no... Well, here, here's a solid yes, state right here. Exactly. We have a solid state disk drive, yeah. uh, two and a half inch drive there. Yeah. And then we also have a CFast flash drive here, which uh, right. two methods of storage. So yeah, the, the system will typically boot from the disk drive. Yeah. And of course, customers can put their application on there. They can store uh, logs and yeah. other data on the disk. And if I'm not mistaken, this is all running uh, CentOS. Uh, yeah, CentOS, CentOS uh, Linux, yeah. uh, 3.0 kernel. Pretty, yeah. uh, pretty up to date kernel. Great. And uh, the tool chain is all standards based GCC, yeah. um, GDB, O profile, mud flap, etc. And because I'm also a networking guy, uh, let me just spin this yeah. sucker around. Uh, what do we have on the network ports? We've got some QSFP back here, I guess. Uh, these are oh. SFP, plus. SFP plus. So these are 10 gig ports. There's yeah. eight of them, so 80 gig there. Uh, we have a couple management ports at one gig, yeah. and then RS-232, USB, and so on. There we go. Um, and then what's, uh, I know a server like this can be used for all kinds of things, but what's the typical uh, end customer use for uh, this sort of extremely high density, high powerful 72 core chip chassis right. platform? Yeah, so the, I guess we like to take it down to what's the use of the chip, because yeah. it could be deployed in many form factors. This chassis, and then I'll just bring over here, we also have PCI cards with our processor on them. Yeah. And um, obviously that's interesting because you can put a lot of compute inside a, an existing server and yeah. basically use it for co-processing or network offload. So we're here at the RSA show. We're, uh, we're really good at a lot of the things that are done here. Deep packet inspection, yeah. intrusion prevention scanning, denial of service protection, firewall. Um, you know, all the kind of things that vendors here at the show are delivering. They need lots of compute. Lots of I.O., sure. and uh, that ability to touch every byte of every packet. Sure. And that's uh, what Tyler excels at. We're the best in the industry at doing that. And I would assume also with the 72 cores, there's a high degree of parallelism. So. Exactly. And, you know, these kind of networking applications have that intrinsically. You have lots of flows. Yeah. You can break them apart and handle individual flows on different cores. And then, of course, aggregate them back together for, for egressing out the port. Yeah. So, yes, we, we rely on the fact that uh, packets... Uh, video workloads are also highly parallel, so we're good at a lot of those kind of things.